back to my channel and welcome to another video. So today I wanted to talk about some products that I kind of regret buying. Um, some products may work for you so if you don't like these types of videos please don't watch it. I don't mean to make these videos to offend anybody but these are just products that personally did not work out for me or for whatever reason I just don't like them I just regret buying them so if you guys want to see more videos like these then go ahead and give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment letting me know and if you guys want to see what products I regret buying then just keep on watching so I wanted to get I'm just gonna get this one out of the way because it is the biggest one so I recently bought this product right here this is a new brand to Walmart and this one is called equation and this is a dermatologist recommended moisturizing cream powered by hydro balance and it says here that it's for all skin type I have oily skin but it's still very sensitive which totally sucks it's like the worst combination of skin you can have you have oily skin large pores and then sensitive like Munches. I actually really like this lotion. It's very moisturizing. Now a little bit goes a long way so you don't have to apply too much and it absorbs onto your skin immediately without leaving a sticky residue. But on the third day of me using this at night, it totally broke me out. I don't know if you guys can see on this side, but I have so many breakouts. And I actually, I mean they're not breakouts, it's just like an allergic reaction and that's when I know my skin doesn't like something. <sighs> so unfortunately this it's just it doesn't work out for me if you guys are not sensitive I really do recommend it the next thing that I wanted to mention is this Tarte brush I don't remember how long ago this brush came out but I totally regret buying it first of all it's super expensive that's the reason why I don't ever buy expensive brushes because I have so many brushes in my collection as you can see in the back that it's kind of unnecessary for me to buy products that are so expensive especially when it comes to brushes. This one was kind of a impulse buy. I really wanted to try it out and although the brush is nice it's really nothing special. It is a little more on the thicker side so it is nice to just use it to bronze up your face but honestly since I bought it I think I've used it maybe three five times muscle menos and I haven't used it in months 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 it's it's literally just sitting there collecting dust so even though the bristles are soft and it's a good brush I just I regret buying it because I spent so much money on it and I think I have something else pretty much like it and it just it's it wasn't worth the $33 that I think that I paid for it. Next I wanted to talk about the Bye Bye Pores Powder. This is by It Cosmetics. Now I actually got this one a few months ago when Ulta was doing their 30 Days of Beauty I believe. And when I saw that this was on sale for $18, I got really excited because I've heard that the Bye Bye Pores Powder is really good for vanishing your pores. So when I first tried this out, I tried using it for baking and it is totally not for baking because the consistency of it is very finely milled and it kind of goes everywhere when you apply it. So I tried using it with different brushes, different methods to make my pores disappear and it just it doesn't work it really does nothing for my skin it doesn't make my pores disappear and I've heard that the pressed powder is a lot better but I'm honestly like on the fence of even buying it so if you guys have tried it let me know if you like it because I, I do want something that obviously makes my pores vanish. I mean, who doesn't want that? So yeah, I was totally disappointed and I just regretted buying this product because even though it was on sale and I got it for a pretty decent price, it still does nothing for me. So eh. I just noticed that this is actually another product that I bought in the 30 Days of Beauty when again, Ulta had their sale. This is a Stila, Stila One Step Corrector. It's a skin tone correcting and brightening serum. Now I actually really wanted to try this out because I believe that girl Shay here on YouTube uses this one a lot. And what it's supposed to do is correct your skin. So if you can see it, it has the green, it has like the little salmon-y peach color, and then it has the lavender color. So you're supposed to apply this to your skin and it's supposed to correct any redness, um, any discoloration, any um, red marks, just pretty much anything that your skin has that you want to correct, bring some balance onto your skin like your complexion. This is supposed to help but as you can see I really haven't used it that much. I just don't feel like I did anything for my skin. Um, sometimes when I do have breakouts and I get red because I pick at them, 
don't judge, I know you do it too. So when I use this, I just don't notice a difference on my skin. I don't feel like it does anything for my skin. And I don't remember how much I paid for this, but I go again, I know that it was on sale. Even then, I still regret buying it. Um, another product that I regret buying because I, okay, I really like the color of this and I actually even did a makeup tutorial and I used this color. This is the ColourPop Lippy Stick in Topless. This, here's their, this is their Matte X formula. Now let me say that I was really excited for their Matte X formula but it's kind of like a hit and miss. This is the color and it looks very pretty on camera. It's like a neon coral peach. It looks very patchy and it, it accentuates every dry, every little piece of dry skin. Every crack that you have on your lips and I don't know. I don't know if it's just a formula on this but I have another one and it's pretty much the same way. So I don't know if that's for all the Matte X formula but for this one it just didn't do it for me and even though I love the color I just don't like the formula of this lippy stick. The very last product that I wanted to talk about and I'm really bummed out that this didn't work out for me. This is the e.l.f. Cream Gel Black Eyeliner. And as you can see, I did use quite a bit of it. And the reason why I did use, you know, some of it is because at the time I was out out of um, my cream eyeliner. So I really didn't have any other choice. But this dries very, very fast. So you have to work with it really quick. Otherwise, you're going to get a lot of flaking on your eyeliner. It doesn't stay put. This one just didn't work out for me. It's very very drying like I said as you can see it has like a little crack inside it where it's totally dry and I keep mine pretty tight so they don't get dry but this one still did and I don't know it's not as dark as it, I would like for my black eyeliner too. Okay guys so that is it those were all the products at the moment that in some way and for some reason I regret buying if any of these products are totally your favorite Please let me know or share with me maybe different ways that you use them and if you agree with me definitely let me know if you know of any alternatives to these products. Leave me a comment and I would love to read it and respond back to you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on my social media sites. All of them will be linked down below. I love you guys and I will see you soon. Bye!